everyone hello 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 greetings from the dollars family you're all welcome back to my youtube channel and if this is your first time stumbling on my video please do not forget to subscribe like and share and if you are my returning subscriber i say thank you so very much may god bless you i thank you so much for your constant love and support for always stopping by to check on the dollars family yeah guys so today i bring to you updates from the united arab emirates um nigeria and back home from cameroon so stay tuned with me watch this video till the end so that you're gonna get the latest updates happening in our community or our environment yeah guys so let's go straight into the video proper so guys in the united arab emirates there's a new law that will be implemented or will go effective from the january 2022 oh my god i just can't wait for this law to be functional or to take place yes because this law it's very much advantageous to the christian community here in the uae guess what guys before i let the cut out of the back can you all just guess what this new law is all about yeah we all know when it comes to uae dubai it's all about work 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 and work yeah in this country you can work your ass out but the government have taken some things into consideration and have decided that saturdays and sundays shall be officially of this yes especially for those working in the government sector so i think this is a good news especially for the christian community in the uae because we all know sundays are days for church services right but while in dubai or uae you always go you only go to church for worship on fridays so i think the uae is trying to be on same lane with all other countries because in all other countries saturdays and sundays are officially resting days so the dubai government or the uae government have also made sure that the same law implements or applies here in the uae so from january 2022 saturdays and sundays shall be off days officially yeah so mondays and thursdays uh, monday to thursday from 7 30 a.m to 3 30 p.m shall be the normal working hours and friday from 7 30 a.m to 12 p.m for government employees and you can decide to work from home it's your choice isn't that great isn't that a good opportunity yeah guys so this is a very good law that has been put in place by the dubai or the uae government so from monday to thursdays it's on 7 a.m to 3 30 p.m and from fridays it's also uh, 7 30 to 12 p.m only government employees so you can work from home if you want or it's your choice if you want to go and work from office and it's also your choice if you want to work from home you are free to decide wherever you want to work from on fridays because fridays will be off days so uae is saying that they are the first country to officially announce that they have just four and a half working days in a whole week isn't that good news guys yeah so four and a half days for the whole week so the uae government has put this in place and it shall go functional or operational from january 2022 so i am so so excited with this new law even though i'm not working under the government but just the fact that saturdays and sundays have been declared as rest days oh my god i am so so happy for this yeah guys so once again i'll take you to the export 2020 year in the dubai united arab emirates alicia keys we all know alicia keys alicia keys shall be performing live at the export 2020 on the 10th of december oh my god if you haven't visited expo i think this is the best time for you to go and visit expo 2020 because you're gonna watch alicia keys live on stage she shall be premiering 
premiering. <laughs> yes, so Akis shall be on stage live on the 10th of December 2021 at the Export 2020. Guys, if you have not been to Export 2020, do not miss out on this. Go and see Alicia Keys face-to-face -face performing live. Yes, so this is another good time to visit the Expo 2020. Have some fun, take good pictures for memories as well. Yeah. So again, guys, I take you to still here in the united arab emirates we lost one of our cameroonian sisters by name solange ndi solange ndi is a cameroonian sister residing here in abu dhabi and she died in the mafrak hospital on the 5th of december 2021 news reaching us says she died of uh, she was suffering from spine problem and high calcium level oh my god we are so sorry to have lost another sister again the cameroonian community is mourning again it's been it's been from one day to another for the past two months i think this is the third case the third death case recorded for the past two months so solange d may her soul rest in perfect peace she died in the mafrak hospital here in abu dhabi united arab emirates yeah guys so we put her in our prayers and we say may the family be comforted in this time of grief yeah guys so once again i take you back to nigeria this new omicron variant um, virus has been identified in nigeria three persons have already been diagnosed with this omicron virus yes so we have to be careful with our precautionary measures keep putting on your face mask hand sanitizer and distancing we also have one case already diagnosed here in the uae like i mentioned in my previous video so you can now see that this omicron virus is spreading its roots right so we have to be conscious wherever we are wash your hands regularly wear your mask often when you're in crowded places avoid the uh, keep uh, maintain social distancing and put all the other precautionary measures in place we shouldn't take this virus for granted just when we thought um, covid is finding its way out and now the omicron virus is here again so we still have a long time to go with putting on of masks sanitization and social distancing so we should take this seriously and make sure we protect ourselves because when you protect yourself you protect your family you protect your friend so we all should be on guard as long as this uh, omicron virus is concerned yeah guys so that's it for the omicron virus again i take you back to cameroon my lovely country yes it's said that um the new sultan of bamun nabim bonbon joya has refused to marry the wife given to him by tradition <laughs> my people time don't reach where people don't start denying marriage though because we know in this uh, traditions they all you the chief is always obliged to take what uh, or to get married to whosoever the tradition gives him but in this case the sultan nabi mbombonjoya says this young lady is too still is, is still too young or too tender for him to get married to because this young lady is just a 14 years old old girl and Nabi Mbombonjoya says he cannot get married to such a young girl. So he has um, decided to do some shopping for this lady, for this little girl and sent her back to her family. Yeah, he decided to do shopping for her. You know, when they don't bring you a woman, you know, if you just take the woman yeah, like that empty hand. Since he don't talk, say he don't go marry the woman. So he don't put some things then together. Say may they take him for go leave the girl back for a family house. So now the latest that will come up from uh, the the Bamun, the new Sultan of Bamun. Yeah. So news circulating says he has his old time girlfriend. His long he has his long time girlfriend, and that's the lady he wants to get married to. Yeah. So if you don't get some wee woman, some sherry coco somewhere, and he be no you say a woman that way go married now. So how far? We tradition can give you small girls, say may take a married. It talks say no. You know, go feel married that small girl because it don't get first of all they picking too small for he and again he already get a long time girlfriend when I don't want to wait for a mind say he go marry them. So when <laughs> I see say tradition don't change hands because first time when 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 culture or in tradition give you woman 
as they talk now so he get for be but things that don't involve i think because this uh, sultan this new sultan for bamu nabi bonbon joya i don't talk say no this picking too small for me when i don't expect me for married picking way just the 14 years old so i could just buy things them so that they could fit take it back go hand and back for a family and I think say if people like Nabi they be they 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 get will get people they like Nabi for community, it will be a fine thing because this one a child abuse. We all understand say this one a child abuse for take a 14 year old girl for give and for marriage, it not be good and it not be healthy enough for that kind of age for just go into marriage and it go married an adult for that matter. So now the decision that way Nabim Bumbonjoya take him say he is not going to get married to this 14 year old girl that was given to him by tradition. He's gonna get married to his long time girlfriend. Yeah. So that's the update I got for you guys today. And if you have watched me or you're listening to this audio up to this moment and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Now you the lost it so because I give you a gist way it makes sense. I they come in and can give you latest vibes for seeing the way they happen for UAE, Dubai, and for our own country, Cameroon, and the world at large. So if you're not subscribed, now you lost. So rush now, go there, go press that subscribe button. And if you haven't um, followed my Facebook page, I created a new Facebook page by name The Dollars Vlog. So please go to Facebook, like, and follow The Dollars Vlog because that's where I'm going to be posting updates as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will not drop this video without telling you about Fancy Glow because I know every day I got new subscribers and my new subscribers have to know what Fancy Glow is all about. Yes, so Fancy Glow is an organic skincare product free from hydroquinone. It is very cheap and affordable and we have various shades and the reviews of these products are so so wonderful and it's you all know it's december and we all want to glow because this is the time for occasions so why not join the fancy glow team and let's glow together put in your orders guys disturb me with your orders guys i am here for you and i'll be very much available to deliver your products right to your doorstep so please support your girl and let's grow together thank you so much for watching thank you so much for following the dollars vlog please keep watching keep liking and keep sharing my videos see you guys till my next upload have a great day and you all stay blessed ciao